at the Eastern Command Center. We're a little too busy to make it down here today. So I came to see uh, instead. Great, but would you mind telling me what the Wait, Armstrong is coming? For protection. What would happen if Yeah, touche. You're in no shape and you were missing an arm. <laughs> oh, don't tell me. Really? They just treated him like cargo? Oh my god, that's messed up. Dr. Marco? Dr. Marco, that what? is you, isn't it? It's me, Alex. Oh, he's like, yo! I don't know you! He was researching into possible medical applications huh? of alchemy. But after the Eshvalan Civil War, he went missing and oh. disappeared. A guy like this doctor might know some useful things about Yeah, touche. Wait. Wait. I was about to say, are they gonna leave Alphonse in the train? Excuse me, <laughs> but do you know who this person is by any chance? Oh, Major, you can only draw. <laughs> then Dr. Morrow came here. Oh. He's really been a lifesaver. He'll see any patient and he never gives okay, up cool. on anybody. We're lucky he's here. You see this big bright flash of light and then you're cute. Oh, just alchemy. Um, whoa. Whoa! The heat! Ha ha! I almost tried to shoot that word! <laughs> Heard can be believed when you disappeared. You took top secret Ooh, confidential. And after dirty my hands researching, that thing was too much. What thing is that? It took so many lives. Okay, no. So well, what are you researching? I could spend my whole life trying and still never atone for the what? things I've done. What exactly was it you were ordered to do yeah. research on? What thing? The first <gasps> oh, beautiful. The top secret materials I took were my research documents. What are the Stop odd coincidences? Wait, what? He has a piece of it? Huh? The Grand Elixir. The Celestial Stone. The Red what? Danger. So it can take on many forms. It is not necessary. Okay, listen. okay, I got it. This is an incomplete product, however. There's no way to know when it will reach its oh. limit and become unusable. Who's to say a complete product can't be created? Please, Dr. Marco, I need access to your research materials. <laughs> After the war, there were many state alchemists who turned in their certifications because they refused to serve as Yeah, I don't blame them. Anymore. So you committed the taboo. Oh, he told them. Amazing. The ability to transmit... Jeez. <laughs> is Edward just going to tell everyone the things he's done? To, but I can't show you my research. Ooh. Why not? You must not seek after yeah. the stone. Never. This is the Ooh. devil's research. If you chase the stone, you will go through hell. Even an incomplete philosopher's stone could be useful. You could have taken it from the doctor by force. Yeah, I wanted it so badly I could almost <laughs> taste it. Still. My guy. But still, we don't want it so badly that we'd be willing to deprive this town of their only wow. way to get it. We gained plenty just by finding out that the Philosopher's Stone can be made. Now we'll just Touché, touché. Whoa, he's back. What? What does he want now? If you're certain you won't regret learning the truth in the end, stop looking. Oh. Maybe you'll find the truth hidden within Oh, the come on, my guy. You can just tell him. Mr. Riddle's guy. National Central Library. First Ooh. Bridge. I've been waiting for you, Mom. Oh my god. Run. Wet Ray, look at that ass. <laughs> I know I haven't seen you for a while, Ed. But you've gone and grown. Ah! <laughs> Granny, you've got it wrong. You're supposed to say how good you've grown lately, Ed. Wow. Whoa. A little smashed up, right, my guy. Basically the same, just in smaller pieces. Oh my god. Don't tell me. What kind of trouble have you two been getting yourselves into? Whoa, she kicked up too. You idiots. All you ever do is worry me. It's not just the arm. Your leg needs adjusting too. Yes, your growth's not completely stunted. <laughs> <at all. laughs> so he is growing. Fine. Between machining, assembly, connecting, and finishing, that's three all night. Damn. I'm sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> well, 
tell you want to get Oh, uh, that's love right there. Work my butt off for you. Man, poor Alphonse, you can't even move. I haven't seen Edward anywhere around the house in a while. Yeah. He said he was going off to visit his mother's grave. Really? He's going to go alone? Why didn't he bring Alphonse with him? Of course, I've been watching over them since yeah. they were born. I'm a friend of the family, you see. Ugh. The boy's father is an old drinking pal of mine. <laughs> One day, he offered yeah, to lose her dad. abandoning his wife and sons. I don't even know whether he's And then mommy... Mommy died. Mommy did. Ah, look at that. Covering his face. It's gone now. The brothers don't have any home to return huh? to. The day they left after Ed had gotten his state certification. Oh. They burned down their Okay, own house. okay. There could be no turning back. It's a shame. I'm back. Oh, Edward Elry. Oh. Oh. He just woke up, and it's just like Winry said, she's got to spend a whole an all nighter. Look at you working hard so early in the morning. Been up all night. Duh. This rate, you must be almost done. One more all nighter. <laughs> Damn, she worked really hard. <laughs> Duh. She's done. All oh, right, this got to be the hardest part. When they put it on. Oh, that's got to hurt. <laughs> oh. Great, he didn't listen to her. Have to be sure not to mm. Whoa. And he's back. There you go. You're good as new. Well, I'm about to duke it out. <laughs> oh, just like that, we gotta say goodbye to Winry. She stayed up three nights in a row. Ah, touche. that's okay. Wow, he didn't even say goodbye. You should come back once in a while and have yeah. with us. Yeah, their family. Really? Sure. She woke up. Come back soon, okay? oh, we got after credits. Oh, uh, we I just about slept through the entire day. <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh. <laughs> she forgot a bolt. <laughs> How silly can you be? How do you forget a screw, a bolt, uh, and you're freaking, oh my god, what Ray? You have one job. But, can't really blame her. She did say she spent uh, three days working on it as hard as she could so Edward can go on his little mission to the central library, whatever place thing, yeah. So you gotta give her a lot of appreciation, a lot of love, a lot of determination to help her little buddy, you know, get back on his feet. I love Woodenry, man. She is best girl. The best. <laughs> now, today's episode was definitely a very calming episode compared to all the previous Action Pack episodes. We pretty much uh, were able to just have a very simple episode, pretty much just building up the hype of, you know, the journey of Edward and Alphonse. On the way to Winry um, Armstrong, who is traveling with uh, Edward because of his, you know, missing arm now, he saw a familiar face in Tim Marco. He is known as the Crystal Alchemist. He is yet another state alchemist that was part of the Itchval Civil War. When they cut up with Marco, he even said to himself, like, yo, what they did, it was inhumane, it was horrible, the way the state police or the state military used alchemists uh, for their war, pretty much. And now he's trying to live out his days in exile. You know, he doesn't want to come back to the state alchemist. So it was kind of sweet to see both Armstrong and Edward, you know, kind of keep that secret to themselves. Through him, we got to learn a little bit more of the Philosopher's Stone. Only Tim Marco was, you know, he was talking in mystery. He was very subtle about the Philosopher's Stone. We didn't get to learn too much of it. I think he knows a lot of it. It's just he didn't tell us everything. Then again, that's the whole process of this show is that, hey, you don't want to learn everything just yet. I like how uh, they keep uh, little mysteries here and there and they start building it up. 
And like the next episode, we learn a little bit more. And in the next episode, we learn a little bit more, you know. So it's very clever storytelling, especially how the show sways from it. Like it feels like ocean waves, you know. It doesn't feel like, you know, like redundancy. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel predictable, you know. They start a question and you're like, all right, I'm sure the show will get to it. And boom, the next episode, they actually get to that question uh, but in a very cool, common way, you know, it, it's not like Rush or anything. So through Marco, they learn about the Philosopher's Stone. Edward was very excited to, like, look up uh, Marco's experiments or research. And pretty much Marco said, like, yo, go to the Central Library. It's there. And pretty much that's the journey. That is where we're going to go next. Again, just a really good episode just because, yo, man, the voice acting is amazing. The story is amazing. The musical score is amazing. Like, even in today's episode where we got to see the boys come back home and we got to learn how, you know, they burned their house down because they felt like, yo, if they kept the house, you know, intact, then they would just have a way to escape their adventure, their journey, you know. By destroying their home, they realize they have nothing to go back to. This is it. Either they get their bodies back or they die trying. I like how Edward went to his mom's grave. I like how he went to his burnt-down home. I'm surprised that no one tried to clean it up or anything, but it's weird. Whatever. So, all right, that about wraps up my video for today. What are your thoughts? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Discuss with me and others by leaving me any positive or negative feedback down in that comment section. Feel free to like this video or subscribe to my channel if you haven't before. And as always, God bless you. Thanks so much for watching. And farewell for now. Bye-bye.